okay. This is Bella, and Bella is, this is our first time meeting, and Bella is a year old, and she's just as nervous, she's a nervous wreck, and she doesn't understand why Mama left her with this strange lady, and she's crying, and she whimpering, but I think I got a kiss a little bit ago. Did I get a kiss, Miss Bella? <laughs> Okay, it must have been a figment of my imagination, but I shall work on that. Not my imagination on getting a kiss. I'll work on my imagination as well. It can use some fine tuning. Come here, baby girl. Thankfully, Bella gets to stay pretty long. She's just really going to get shaped up and trimmed up. And since she's so nervous, that's like the best thing for her doesn't have to deal with a whole lot of loud noise and issues of that nature. And mom keeps her in very good shape. She does wear, look like she wears a harness all the time and that tangles her up but she's not mad at it. So, that's a plus. You feeling better? Because mama didn't leave me with a lunatic. Yes, she did. Well, the jury's out. The jury's out on that, Miss Bella. Yes, it is. pretty harness. It's adorable. It's an eight cup. Sorry, Bella. I told. Come on. You're cutie pie. Let's get the nasties out your face. Stop. No. No, stop. Good girl. No. Oh God, you got some pretty eyes. Stop. I do have to use the N word sometimes. I do have to tell them no. And then I hope for forgiveness. No. Stop. No. And that comes to little areas like where I could chop off something that they might need. You know? That wouldn't be good. That would not be good. Uh-uh. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see the pretty face. Let me see the pretty face. Oh, my pillow kiss coming up. You get, you get, get. Bella, can I get a kiss? Can I get? What? Hello? Uh, nothing. Wow, I've been shot down by Bella. I've been shot down by Bella. I'm going to do some scissoring, try not to turn on any loud noise. This part of meeting a brand new dog, especially a puppy, wouldn't matter if she was three months old, which is the ideal age to start, by the way, for those that don't know. Uh, it wouldn't really matter. Uh, which age she was. First time is hard on any dog, but especially on young, the young dogs. So this is where your patience is tested because you gotta not take stuff personally. 
I remember a groomer yelling at a dog. She didn't hit him or anything, but she yelled at him and cussed him out because while grooming him, she broke one of her fake nails. And she blames it on the dog, as though the dog had a personal vendetta against her and her fake nails. That's insanity. She needs to be doing office work, not working on livestock. No, not working with the live babies. No, no, no. That's just not. I did call you livestock, didn't I? I'm not going to barbecue you. I only need I eat this fish, so you'll be, you'll be safe. It's all right. And that's what this is all about, is getting her to understand that she's okay, I'm okay, everything's good, the world is fine. Usually it takes for puppies about 15 minutes to settle in. And I mean, I have puppies that will uh, be walking, flipping around like roller coasters. And, I mean, they just do acrobatics and all kinds of stuff to keep from getting through. And while it is funny, I still have work to do. And I have to do it in a safe way. So it's like grooming a speeding train or a dog on speed. I don't know which is which, which is which. No. <laughs> no. No, no, and no. I know you know what that means. You probably think it's your second name. Bella, no, no, no. 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 Good girl. Good girl. Another one of my little training methods with the dogs is to, if I get one second or two seconds of them being good, I let them know they're good. So they know what good looks like. When they're not being good, <laughs> I just don't say anything. <laughs> I just don't say anything. No, no, no. We have black toenails, very sketchy, very sketchy. So her pushing and pulling and pulling and pushing can easily cause me to cut the nail too short. So I have to do my best to wait for that moment of stillness. And if that doesn't work, I can put her in my arms and do it. I never call anybody over to help me do actually anything. I don't believe in restraint. I think restraint just causes the fight to begin with. You've seen your dogs restrained at the vet to do nails. Well, some of those dogs come to me and I never have to get anybody to hold them down or strap them down. And it's just not necessary if they trust you. And I groom some, I do nails on some dogs that are like considered terrorists for their nails, or were when they went to the vet to get them done. That is not an advertisement for maniac dogs with nail issues. <laughs> That's just me saying you get a whole lot more with honey than vinegar. Get a whole lot more cooperation by not restraining. Just by virtue of the word is going to cause anyone, human or dog, to fight. Very good. Very long, quick stuff. Very long, quick. I wonder if Mama wants the Yorkie ears. Do you think she might want Yorkie ears? I don't. I think they're cute like that. I don't think they're cute like that. They are cute like that. Let me show you how. 